dear students welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on the applications of laplace transform to the solutions of linear second order ode with constant coefficients in the part 1 video we did one differential equation problem when we write this f of s we get the linear factors and now in today's session we are going to take a second order linear ode with constant coefficients it may have repeated factors let us see the problem solve the following differential equation using laplace transform with given initial conditions y of 0 equal to 2 y dash of 0 equal to minus 1 as usual first write the formula l of y dash of t is s into l of y of t minus y of 0 next l of y double dash of t is s square into l of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 next let us write the given differential equation in our format luckily the question is given in our own format which we do next we have to apply laplace transform on both sides of the equation 1 it follows linear property so i am writing separately now we have to apply the formula l of y double dash of t and l of y dash of t substituting the formulas we get the following and in the right hand side we have l of e power t there is nothing but 1 divided by s minus 1 and here y of 0 is equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to minus 1 now our job is to club this l of y of t and push all the remaining terms to the right hand side substituting the initial conditions we get the following now we have to assemble all l of y of t terms so we have s square here minus 2s plus 1 so we complete all l of y of t terms now we have to write the remaining terms we have minus 2s here minus into minus plus so plus 4 plus 1 we have plus 5 is equal to 1 divided by s minus 1 next we have to push all the s terms to the right hand side so when i push this to the right hand side we get s square minus 2s plus 1 into l of y of t is equal to 1 by s minus 1 Plus 2s minus 5, and we know this left hand side s square minus 2s plus 1 is simply s minus 1 whole square into l of y of t. Now we take LCM 2s minus 5 into s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 in the right hand side. Now push this s minus 1 to the denominator, and we have to simplify this 1 plus 2s square minus 2s. Minus 5s plus 5, so 2s square minus 7s plus 6 should be in the numerator, and s minus 1 whole cube should be in the denominator. Now we have to check this. Denominator degree is 3, numerator degree is 2. So denominator degree is greater than numerator degree. So I can apply partial fraction. Now I want to find y of t. Y of t is equal to L inverse of this content. Next we have to apply partial fraction. So a by s minus one plus b by s minus one whole square plus c by s minus one whole cube. Now my job is to find a, b, c. Let us take LCM. Denominator will get cancelled automatically from both sides. So a into s minus one whole square because it has already one power. Then b into s minus one because denominator has power two. C into one because the highest power is s minus one. whole cube next we have to find a b c for this i have to substitute some value of s such that it makes some term zero i can put 1 if i put 1 this two terms will become zero so now substituting s equal to 1 2 minus 7 plus 6 is equal to c therefore my c value is simply 1 we find c equal to 1 next i can compare the coefficients of either constant or s or s square that is the simplest way i am going to compare the coefficient of s square here the coefficient of s square is 2 and here the coefficient of s square is a and these two terms does not have s square terms so 2 is equal to a directly i will tell a is equal to 2 and next 
we have to find b now i can compare the coefficient of s are constant or i can put some random value if i put s equal to 0 then these terms will become simply 0 so 6 is equal to a into minus 1 whole square plus b into minus 1 plus c so 6 is equal to a minus b plus c and we have c value is 1 a value is 2 minus b is equal to 6 therefore 6 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to minus b so we get b is equal to minus 3 so a is 2 b is minus 3 and c is equal to 1 now substitute the values of a b and c we get 2 times 1 by s minus 1 minus 3 times 1 by s minus 1 whole square and 1 by s minus 1 whole cube now we know that y of t is L inverse of this term. Now applying L inverse on both sides, we get y of t is equal to 2 times L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 minus 3 times L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole square plus L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole cube. So 2 times e power t minus 3 times i have to apply first shifting property s minus 1 whole square so i will take e power t and we get l inverse of 1 by s square similarly i will take this s minus 1 outside we get e power t l inverse of 1 by s cube we know that l inverse of 1 by s square is t power 1 by 1 factorial and l inverse of 1 by s cube is t square by 2 factorial so we get 2 e power t minus 3 e power t into t because t power 1 by 1 factorial is simply t plus t square by 2 e power t this is my final solution in this session we solved a problem on second order linear od with constant coefficients when we find y of t my l inverse of the function contains repeated factors now there are some lazy people who don't want to find the constants a b c some problem simplification tricks works let us take the same problem now let me push minus 2s plus 5 to the right hand side and left hand side i can write this as s minus 1 whole square l of y of t right hand side 1 by s minus 1 plus 2s minus 5 now see the left hand side we have s minus 1 whole square my right hand side i can adjust this as 2s minus 2 minus 3 that is 1 by s minus 1 2 into s minus 1 minus 3 now take this s minus 1 whole square to the right hand side denominator what will happen we get l of y of t is equal to 1 by s minus 1 whole cube plus 2 times s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 whole square minus 3 times s minus 1 whole square so s minus 1 s minus 1 will get cancel and we get l of y of t is equal to 1 by s minus 1 whole cube plus 2 by s minus 1 minus 3 by s minus 1 whole square without founding a b c directly we can write the answer now taking l inverse on both sides we get the following therefore i can write e power t t square by 2 just now we found plus 2 times e power t minus 3 times e power t into t i can get the answer directly so if you like this you can try but some problems it may not come luckily for this problem we get the simplification directly hope you understand students thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye